Good morning, and thank you all for being here. Um, thank you, President Clements, for your thoughtful introduction and your kind words. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to thank my fiance, McCray Hodgkiss, for being here this weekend. He traveled into town to be here from Charleston, so thank you. Um, I was asked to come up here this morning to share my story, um, a story that has been forever impacted by your gifts to this institution and your choice to invest in us students. Um, as you know, as uh, President Clement said, a portion of these donations go to completion grants. And completion grants uh, help students like me, spe specifically seniors who run into some trouble, give them you know, the extra boost they need to finish that degree. So today I'm here to show you um, why that gift is so important and what that gift has allowed me to accomplish um, with my life here today. So I come from a pretty blue collar family. Um, with that, strong work ethic has been instilled into me from a, a very young age. My dad's an electrician. He dropped out of college, but was still able to start up his own business in landscape lighting. Uh, my mom was in school for only two years. So the fact that I'm even here about to finish with my bachelor's degree, the first in my family, is already just a huge opportunity. <laughs> so thank you. So I said my dad's an electrician, so from a young age, you see little Ashley in her jeans and her camo hat on job sites, um, helping my dad build light fixtures, putting lighting systems in. So from a very young age, like I saw where money came from, and I knew it didn't grow on trees. It came from the dirt and the sweat and all the other yucky stains that were on my jeans at the end of the day. So I saw, you know, that you, to get where you want to go, like you got to put the work into it. So um, that being said, my dad had his own business, worked really hard, but some of you might be aware, you know, owning your own business is hard. It's got its, up, its ups and downs. There were some great let's go out to Outback weeks, but then there were weeks where we had butter noodles and peanut butter sandwiches. and. This past year was, we had a lot more peanut butter sandwiches <laughs> than, than going out to dinner. So um, business got really slow. We just moved from Pennsylvania to Myrtle Beach, starting up his business again. Money got tight. Um, I'm also the, there's five in my family. I'm the oldest. I have two younger sisters. One of them just started at the Citadel. She's in the Marines ROTC right now. She's a lot tougher than I am. <laughs> But um, that's a second student in college, so money's tight with the business, another kid in school. My mom also has been running into some chronic health issues. We've had a couple cancer scares, so they've been traveling a lot. Medical bills have gone up. So we're seeing lots of lots more extra bills, work is going down, you're seeing how it can get really easy for things like tuition to, you know, being able to cover those. So I started working on campus as an RA my sophomore year. Um, they thought I knew what I was doing, so they promoted me to CDA. This is my second year as a community development assistant, which means I've worked in housing for too long. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but this past year, um, this past year though, I've been sending most of my money home to help pay with bills. I you know that RA money my goes to books, um, you know, I help with whatever tuition I can, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, the beginning of this year, it was just, it didn't look like it was going to happen, you know, money at home wasn't there, my RA job was not cutting it, it didn't look like I was going to be able to continue my classes this fall, and this year was a really big year for me, I really needed to finish this year. Um, I'm graduating, for starters, and I've worked super hard and really just going to need to get that degree in my hands. I'm also getting married in May, and I can't get married and move to Charleston unless I graduate. <laughs> so that was number two. And then the last one was I was trying to apply to MUSC, and I can't apply to MUSC without finishing my degree. So I have all these big life moments happening, worked really hard the last three years, and if I didn't get through this past year, all of that was not going to happen. 
So all my hard work, my, my classes, all my extra jobs, all of that, the hours I spent in the, in the library, uh, all the shadowing that I have done, the wedding planning, the Pinterest boards, <laughs> all of it uh, would have had to have been put on hold for God knows when. Until, I, until this grant, um, really, this grant is what allowed me to do all of these things. This grant is what is allowing me to graduate first person in my family with a bachelor's degree in biological sciences in two months. Because of this grant, I'm graduating on time. I was able to apply and excited to say I will be um, attending MUSC's doctorate, <laughs> doctorate of physical therapy program. Thank you. And I will be getting married on time to my favorite Clemson graduate. So, <laughs> um, so by, so I just wanted to say by no means was is your donation a handout? Like I'm not a handout. This was definitely a hand up. Um, this gift was exactly what I needed. It was the boost I needed to succeed. It has allowed me to finish my Clemson degree off as strong as ever and start the next chapter of my life off right. So again, I just wanted to thank you for all of the work and effort that you guys are putting into this institution and to your students. And thank you for choosing to make a difference in the Clemson community. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything. And because of the opportunity that you all now are giving me, I now have the chance to do anything and everything I want. So thank you all for being here. And thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.